Diddy's old producer, Little Rod Jones, has broken his silence and is doubling down on the allegations against the mogul. He's claiming that they have hundreds of hours of audio that show him admitting to more crimes, and he's labeling a lot more celebrities. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. If you missed part one of our breakdown of this document, don't miss the first one. We broke down all of it its entirety, except for the celebrity names, because I know you all want to hear it. Now, that doesn't mean they're implicated, but they're now implicated via Little Rod. And Little Rod claims to have hours of recordings admitting to these crimes. Now, he hasn't seen these celebrities do the crimes, but I want you to see how he plays it out in this declaration. Now, before we get there, Jason Derulo, sorry, I have to, you can't say his name any other way. Uh, I hope he doesn't ding me. Uh, he's come out in defense of Diddy. Now, Jason Derulo started out as a writer, so he he owes Diddy a lot of his career. And he's come out, he seemed a little cagey in the question of what do you think? And he said, Diddy's pro innocent until proven guilty. I can't be mad at the guy for doing that, especially if Diddy helped him. Good for him when asked. Uh, Diddy should be afforded the same grace until more evidence surfaces, if any does at all, that implicates him in something nefarious. And yes, Diddy has not yet been arrested or charged with any crimes, but yes, lots of things coming forward. And now in this new document that it's important to reiterate, which we did in our first video, make sure you watch that one. I'll put it at the end of this too, so you can catch up both together. He's declaring under penalty of perjury under the laws of the U.S. that the proceeding is true and correct. I understand that if I intentionally lie, I'd be subject to punishment. So he's putting his money where his mouth is. This is important. So as we went through this document, which has a lot, keep that in mind. So we went through the, the main gist. I'm going to, it's important to reiterate here though. I have hundreds of hours of audio and video recordings and photos of incidents that, de that I detail in my first and proposed second amended complaints. The second amendment was a claim a complaint was accepted by the judge. We're now waiting for Diddy's response, but if you want to see all the details there, go to the first video again. Now let's, and I'll link it at the end. Let's go to the celebrities mentioned. Okay. So here we go. He's talking about all the parties that were happening in his presence, uh, the trafficking, et cetera, the workers that were, you know, procured that he was forced to get on. Uh, look at all these dates that he had to do. Uh, example, July 2nd, Mr. Combs at a listening party at his California home. There were a lot of people present at this party, including Chris Brown, Justin Combs, workers and under certain aged girls, not the good kind. Uh, Justin typically would bring the younger women to these parties. I have two videos, of different workers that Justin brought him with chalice recordings. I can provide the videos to the court. Now, again, he's mentioning Chris Brown there. No proof that Chris Brown did anything, but he was at the party and was aware, complicit, uh, but he has videos to show that they were there with Diddy's son. Uh, he requested these workers and uh, required uh, Little Rod to secure it, solicit them. Several workers appeared. In addition, workers were there for at least five women in the crowd who appeared to be not at a, at a good age. Uh, Mr. Combs laced the stuff. It goes in. We talked about these details a bit. He was forcing a lot of that to happen. So then fast forward. Young Miami comes up again. Uh, he's asked to, for a hundred dollar bill. So he wanted to snort the, you know, the, 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 the Coca-Cola. Uh, I was deathly afraid. Luckily I didn't have to have a hundred dollar bill. Mr. Combs waited a little later to do it with young Miami. Uh, going down the next mention of celebrities, not as many, but it's when they are, it's pretty, this, now this is the big moment before we get to Cuba Gun Jr. Now he sets this up by saying he admired Stevie J, one of Co Sean Combs' previous producers and now friend who stuck up to him. There's a lot of rumors about which way, you know, he's intimate with which gender. I, I don't, none of my business. If it's consensual, I don't care. They're adults, I don't care. But he claims that he admired producer Stevie J. Mr. Combs knew this. He used access to Stevie J and his knowledge of my admiration about Stevie J to groom and entice me to engage in acts with the same gender. Mr. Combs went so far to share a video of who he claimed was Stevie J, uh, you know, having inter relations. I got to be careful. Here. Relations with another male, a white Caucasian. I honestly believe that Mr. Combs showed me this and attributed it to Stevie J to see my reaction and ease my anxiety concerning relations with men. The person in the video looked like and sounded like Stevie J. I honestly believed it was him. Now, another adult actor has come forward and said, that's not Stevie J, that's me. And so this is him explaining like, look, he told me it was him. I thought it was him. It looked like him. I may be wrong, but still did he tried to paint it like, see, he's down. Maybe joking. Either way, it's, it's gross, if true. 
Uh, Mr. Combs told him, this is a normal practice in the music industry. Look at Stevie J is doing it. He also shared that there are many other known artists who engage in uh, these relationships with men. During my time living with Mr. Combs, I have personally witnessed these men and others visit his house and disappear into his bedroom for hours. Several of these men own record labels and have notable catchphrases like, I'm <laughs> still done. It's worth it. Another one. There it is. <laughs> Probably get a use. Another one. Several catchphrases like, Another one. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. Do I still have his pop? Oh, I do. I don't want to say the name. I don't want to say the name, but man, I, I love this Popeye that someone sent me. There he is. I, a fan sent this because we use this drop a lot. Another one. So another one listed out. Now, this is an interesting one. If we're going to talk about another one, because it, again, I'm not accusing this man of anything. Don't come after me. I'm reading the lawsuit. But this man right here, this man right here talks about how he will not pleasure his uh, own wife. He will not go there. Nope, not going to do it. But now it's alleged he'll go in the bedroom for hours with other men. Interesting. If true, interesting, none of my business, but uh, might explain why he's not into the women. Uh, but this is the allegation. So I assume if this is false, another one. I would expect a lawsuit coming in from another one here. We'll see, but less listed another one or Maybach music. I can provide these names in court. So Maybach music again, I, I'm just getting back into this, but I, I gotta be careful who I'm, uh, <laughs> who I'm, uh, implying here, but there's an artist here who says that you can see right here. His name's Rick Ross. Uh, so take that as you will. It's the, the, the label that was founded by Rick Ross. So he's like, I'm not going to name them, but I'm going to give you clues that you'll know who I'm talking about. I can provide those names in court, but I, I just did. <laughs> I just did. Another one. So he's another one. Said, More coming in. I don't mean to make light of this, but it, it is it's shocking and would explain why this is so big and why this story is could only, in my imagine, explode given all the secrets and business and and illegal activities that were going out behind the scenes. It's not that hard to believe. But allegations can't prove it. I'm not definitively saying anything here. I got to cover my own butts. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Now we, he's mentioned this before, but he goes a little bit more detail about how uh, Combs was grooming me to pass me off to his friends and fear became a reality when he introduced me to Cuba Gooding Jr. on his yacht. Cuba went, you know, did things he wasn't supposed to, touching areas he wasn't supposed to. He, Cuba Gooding Jr. did not stop until I forcibly pushed him away. So there it is. Now we go through the, the whole doc and you're not going to miss it because there's a lot in there about a lot of other powerful studio executive, you know, music uh, executives, et cetera. So please check it out. But Amy Schumer also mentioned now doesn't imply that she did anything wrong in the recording. You will hear Mr. Combs coaching comedian Amy Schumer how to rap and his chief of staff, Christian Corman, a cor quorum, uh, who was the only person who could remove cash and substances from Diddy's hidden bedroom closet. She's in the background uh, instructing her staff to get Mr. Combs laced, substanced gummies while Amy Schumer's recording how to rap. Now, I don't know if she heard it, if she's responsible, or if she partook, but he made a point to mention Amy Schumer was there. So now Amy Schumer is mixed in this as well. Fair or not? Another. Uh, Another one. Um, we're now this, this drop has a lot of use. So every time we get uh, a celebrity brought into it, we will be able to now declare another one. Uh, now he says here, I could share other things, but I do not feel comfortable putting them in this document. I will be willing to discuss them with the court elite court under seal to preserve my fifth amendment. Right. So he's making it clear. Oh, there's a lot another of another one. Um, yeah, man. What do you guys think of this? Uh, again, accusations. Everyone's innocent until proven guilty. But he's making a point here to name some other names. It Look, I got to keep it honest always with you guys. It does feel like a shakedown. However, if he has all this evidence, well, then call it what you want, right? It doesn't matter. He deserves it. Uh, so not a good look. This is a much better for me. This actual follow up, uh, as as John, our, John was telling me, this is a... Um, this is just a sworn statement, a complaint. And uh, he's adding this as a declaration. And as he said, this is, you know, 
making it clear that he will perjure himself if it's false, if he knowingly is sharing this and he knows it's false. It's offered to persuade the judge that the original complaint wasn't just a bunch of made up stuff or random stories. Because a lot of people have been calling out Rodney Jones and his lawyer. We talk about it in the other video, but this is him coming out saying, no, I'm not, I'm not full of crap. I'm not just doing this for attention. These are legit uh, things that need to be taken seriously. It's time to find all the- Another one. Who else is there? Well, we'll break it down. Are you surprised? Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for alerts. Who else do you think is sweating? We're preparing a list. So uh, let us know your thoughts. Hit it that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and tell us what you think. Also, I got a video coming up next. Do not miss it. Christopher Melcher is going to talk about Angelina Jolie, who is a psycho, and it's still going against Brad Pitt. Leave those poor kids alone, Angie. What are you doing? Move on with your life. The kids want to see Brad. Oh, my God. When Christopher Melcher comes in and it's got a rant, you're not going to miss it. So check that out. Check out part one. I'll try and put them all there. Stay tuned for more. Hit the subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for more.